And this is a collection of over 14,000 chemical entities. These have all passed phase one, so they are safe to use from a, a, a toxicology point of view. And many of them can have antimicrobial and antiviral capabilities. So the library itself uh, can be now repurposed and retested to see whether it has efficacy against this particular disease. It is a library that's unique to Scripps. So Caliber, as part of Scripps, uh, is the progenitor of this library and was sponsored in part by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation along with Scripps to put into play. So we're pretty lucky to have it. It's a, it's a novel piece of, of uh, machinery to have. So we're going to take this library and put it up against a viral specific protease, uh, which is a protein that's absolutely required for the COVID-19 to replicate and go through its normal life cycle. The idea is that if one of these reframe collection molecules uh, it hits this protease, uh, eventually we could turn it into something that could be more uh, quickly adapted for use in humans. So it gives us a leg up on traditional high throughput screening drug discovery where we're looking at complete novelty. Well, what's critical is that uh, these are antiviral small molecule drugs, so they can have an immediate use in patients who are been afflicted with, with the disease. And this is unlike like vaccines. Vaccines have to be uh, administered prior to the, to the acquisition of the disease. So these small drugs can be used immediately. There are oral medications that can be prescribed by a physician and so it's likely that uh, we can get these drugs quickly uh, approved and used. Scripps research here is, is very unique uh, among all uh, research institutes because it is so focused on translational research. We have some of the top scientists in the world who are specializing in every known disease to mankind and we also have the ability to execute uh, drug discovery with, with medicinal chemistry and pharmacology and really take these, uh, these ideas and these drugs to a higher level and get new medicines into clinical trials to be tested uh, uh, against disease. Uh, having profound faculty like Dr. Farzan and Che and Disney that all are interacting with us literally on a daily basis to tackle this, uh, it's very rewarding from that perspective. It's act actually very exciting to see how well we can collaborate, how well we can turn the, the gears in the right direction. So it's, it's, it's very, very exciting. I'm almost certain that we, in a year from now, there will be vaccines in, in trial, and there's likely to be small drug uh, inhibitors that will be effective against that. So I, I think the, the issue is that it can be done. There's no problem with that. However, it's a matter of time and urgency, and so we would like to get a product out there as quickly as possible. You know, currently we're seeing some of the issues and enclosures, baseball, basketball, some of the Boston Marathon, Disney, all these sort of closures, while they create a sense of uh, fear maybe in the community, it also gives investigators like ourselves and those around us uh, more time, which is absolutely needed in order to find the most appropriate treatments, the most appropriate cures, which that's, that's important.